What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. So today I wasn't really gonna do much But then I just kind of thought I can definitely like map out all of the Like where all the posts are gonna go because last night um after I was after I actually after I made that video uh, Chris was at the shop kind of late and he just came in and we were just talking He was like yeah, dude the forklift like the main seals and like the forklift like the hydraulic part of the forklift that lifts the forks blue like exploded and uh, I think he said the part came today so I'm obviously when I get to the shop I'll know and uh, I'll check with him and see what's good with that but um yeah so the 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 actual frame of the loft should be up I want to say within a couple days I really hope I think like that'd be sick but that just that just depends on um, Chris's availability I'm I'm it's not it's not on me guys I'm, I'm trying my hardest to get this to work but, you know, Chris has a business to run. I can't just be like, yo, I need that forklift right now. I'm not going to do it. I don't, I don't want to drop that beam. So I'm just letting you guys know that's exactly what's going on. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do some planning today and some, uh, maybe some drilling. I don't know. Maybe put up the last three posts. We'll see. But first, I must get food. Back at the office. I know a lot of you guys will probably find this cool as hell. So, you see that green? That's literally just plexiglass. They call this thing glow worm. Because when the light hits it, they're like, there's no additional lighting on this thing. Like, look at that. First things first. Grab three of these lolly column things. And, uh... Put them over there, and I want to measure the distance because there's going to be one on each side, one in the middle, one on each side, one in the middle, and then I have two more, and then I'm going to have to get a four by four or six by six, something like that, for the middle of the front one. All right, so wall to wall, this way, 31 feet, 11 inches, all right? 31 feet, 11 inches. I'm gonna divide that by three to get the center of where these will be mounted there and on the floor. So I got the drill from Chris, not a hammer drill, but I mean, this is what he uses, so I'm, I'm assuming it's fine. I am gonna have to go get a new drill bit and some new anchors <clears throat> and some new anchors because this is what he used for the booth and I thought that maybe you know that's probably not enough so I'm gonna bring these I don't know what size they are but these are way bigger than that and then I just need the right size drill bit so I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna take a drill bit from my collection match it up so that way I know I have the right one All right, there you go. Half inch is what I need. Back to the trusty steed, boy. Okay. So, such a nice day out, guys. Look at this. Forklift is still dead, but soon, soon. We're getting there, we're getting there, guys. I'm delivering what I promised, and that was a loft. It was more of a promise to myself, but you guys seem to be equally as hyped for it, so I guess you guys are going to enjoy seeing it too, boys. Perfect. Mint. Alright, so quick thing that I just uh, noticed 
over in the corner where I was going to put this, there's one, two, three different slabs or whatever right there. So I'm not going to put it in the corner corner. I'm going to put it literally right here. I'm going to measure it six inches from the wall. Then I'll go from there up from right here. I can get behind it. All that stuff. I have to paint anything. It'll be right there. So yeah, I'm going to measure that. Actually, to keep this consistent, I'm going to do this. And come over here. Draw my line right there. Got this line just drawn right here so I don't go any deeper than that. So hopefully that stays there. Two holes are drilled. See if we can anchor this thing down. Guys, I'm so shot. I drew I drilled I drilled and put it in the wrong way. I have to like turn it. So instead of the bolts that going from side to side, I have, they have to be going like here and here instead of here and here. So now I have to cut them out and re-drill it and re we'll be back. Mint. So yeah, that thing is up. One thing I did fail to uh, measure was from here to here, so I can duplicate that on the other side. I know it's just that this this is length between that, but I need from here to there. Looks like 18 and a half on the dot, so should be easy enough. 18 and a half. There we go. All right, well, as you can see, these things are up, two of them. I, I really wish I was trustful enough to just put one and two, because I, th I think that would just make it a lot easier. These two are up. I got to get all this stuff out of the way, pull it back, measure the distance between the inside corner of this and this, and then find the center, put one more up, and then whenever Chris fixes the... Um, the forklift literally all we got to do is just take this this big beam right here all the way over there third was it 31 feet 11 inches take all that then i gotta get a, a pack of those big ass like wood screws and just go up through here one and two and then uh that's it we got to do that three times there here and here <laughs> this is I, I messed up one floor anchor on each side and had to redo two of them, right? And I just messed up both of these and tried to reuse this hole. I tried to smack it down back into the sand underneath the floor and fucking, I just broke the shit out of, uh, I tried to use my extension, boom, stuck. So now I'm gonna have to move this over like an inch. So it should be 13 feet in an inch. Actually, I'm gonna move it over this way an inch because uh, I feel, I don't know. I don't think it really matters. So yeah, there we go. Put it a little bit farther to the right because most of the heavy shit's gonna be on this side. And that side, we're actually getting a propane or a natural gas heater up in that area. So we're not gonna be able to have that much stuff on that side. But I figured most of like the heavy stuff will keep on this, whatever. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Those are the three main supports for the rear up. Now I gotta take the Koenig thing down because I'm gonna put it in front. I'm gonna hang it off the loft. Mezzanine, whatever you guys wanna call it. But yeah, those are up. Dope. Throw it on in the comments if you think it's necessary for me to drill like two more on each. Cause honestly, like, like this shit's not, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna come out of the ground, but hold on, stop, stop. Okay. It's not gonna come out of the ground, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, 
The shit that used to be up here before was way, way heavier than this. No, I'm not gonna make one full video for, for every time I put up one row. Like the next time I do this, like the next row I put up, we'll be doing the entire loft because like I said, I'm just waiting for Chris to fix the forklift. And once he fixes the forklift, like I said, multiple times, I, I, I explain too much guys, but this shit just excites me. I'm sorry. Like this shit is just dumb exciting to me. Within like a week, the main structure should be up. So once that main structure is up and I don't need any help, I mean, the main structure and the stairs are what I'm going to need help with. I forgot about the stairs, but the stairs are a big thing. This is fucking heavy as shit. And I'm glad this is already made. I just have to do some repairing because this here broke. I'm going to just friggin' drill that back together and re-drill re all this stuff. I'm not going to be using any nails also, guys. Um, I don't want the creakiness and all that stuff. Sorry for you nail lovers, but I got a shit ton of screws. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, way too much explaining, but got these things up, got some of this stuff moved out, short video, but making, making some progress and learning some shit on the way because I didn't, like I said, I've never put up like a lift or anything like that. So now when I get a lift, I'm like, oh dude, I got it. I know how to do this. I just need to use bigger anchors and I'm, and I'm good. Some grade eight Johns, but these, these are mint gonna be sick I'm gonna have a hole upstairs I'm so fucking excited but I'm gonna start editing guys thank you for watching I see that the video from yesterday with the the whole youtubers getting paid thing is getting a good amount of traffic so I don't know I mean share it with your friends go share it on Facebook you know people are interested in that kind of stuff and I feel like out of all the videos on YouTube that I've seen mine was like the most straight up I literally said like this is not how it works these other videos claiming that this is how people get paid is wrong or they're very vague but yeah i don't know share the video share this video share whatever video you want whatever video you like share the damn video should i make playlists i don't know i was thinking about that too let me know in the comments like comment subscribe have a good night my guys i will see you guys next time i keep saying have a good night i don't know i don't know what time it is where you are guys i don't know peace